Okay, let's take a look at how we can find the equation of a tangent to a line using differentiation. In case you forgot, a tangent is if you say we have like a curve like so, right? X and Y. And if we have a point, say here, a tangent is a straight line that basically just touches the point, that exact point that. So this line here, this is going to be the tangent to the curve. Okay, we're just looking for the equation of the tangent. So to find the equation, what do you need? You need the gradient of the tangent and you need a few points on the tangent, right? So if we have an example question, find the equation of the tangent. No need to know that. So the curve equals uh, y equals x squared. That's going to be the equation of the curve. Curve equation is y equals x squared. And we want to find the tangent. Find tangent when x equals 3. So if we go back to our graph, if say this has a point of 3 something, right? we need to find the y coordinate and we also need to find the gradient of this part. The gradient function is dy over dx, right? How do we find the gradient of this original curve? Well, 2 times x is 2 and x and we minus 1 from the power, right? So that's just going to be 2x to the power of 1, which is just 2x, right? This is the gradient of the curve. Now we can find the tangent uh, when x is 3. Well, the gradient is 2x, right? So, sorry, the gradient function is 2x. So we have x value of 3. So when x is 3, we sub in x equals 3. So 2 times 3 is equal to 6 equals m. That is the gradient to the curve where x is 3. That means the gradient of the tangent is also going to be 6, right? Now, we have the value, th we have the x-coordinate, so we know that the x-coordinate is 3. We don't know the y-coordinate, which we need to find the equation of the tangent. And we also know that the gradient is 6. How do we find the uh, y-coordinate? Well, the equation was y equals x squared, right? When x is 3, we just sub x in. So 3 squared is 9. So y equals 3 squared. 3 squared is 9. So our y value is 9. Now it's just basically finding an equation when you have the gradient and uh, points provided. So m equals 6, and the points are 3, 9, I believe. Yeah. What do we do? We write equations in the form of... Just bear with me. y equals mx plus c, right? m is the gradient, y is the coordinate of y, x is the coordinate of, y, of x, and c is the y-intercept. Y-intercept, in case you forgot, is basically just where you're, where, oh, actually, we're finding a tangent, so it's going to be straight line. It's just where it crosses the y-axis. Okay, so, if we put in 9 as our y-coordinate, mx, so 6, multiplied by x, 3, plus c. 18 equals 9 plus c. If we minus 18 on both sides, we're going to get minus 9 is equal to c, so that's going to be our y-intercept. So if we rearrange our equation into the y equals mx plus c form, our gradient was 6, so 6x minus 9. This is the gradient of our tangent. And just to summarize how you found it, you have the curve equation of the curve provided, and you have the x-coordinate provided, right? And you're finding the tangent of when x is 3 dy dx, the equation to find the gradient for a uh, gradient function, sub in the coordinate to find the gradient of the tangent, sub x value to get the y value, and that's give you 3, 9. Remember, you don't sub the x value into the gradient function. Actually, you do sub it into the gradient function, but to find the y value, you're not going to sub that in there. You're going to sub it into the original function to find the y value, because that's how you find the coordinates. And that'll give us, just rearrange into the form of y equals mx plus c to find the equation of the tangent to the curve.